Today, I'm going to be opening some of the cheapest slimes I could find on the internet and give them a makeover. Let's get started. Okay, so the first package we have here contained two slimes. You can see that one of them didn't come bubble wrapped, but they were both sealed and actually arrived in pretty good condition. I was kind of confused why only one of them had been bubble wrapped and also only one of them had a label. But nonetheless, I was still pretty excited to get into these. I decided to open the berry kind of purple one first. You can see it was, it was definitely a, an interesting texture. It was definitely slimy, that's for sure. But the more I played with this, the more I kind of actually liked it. I think it's a water slime, and that's basically a slime that's meant to kind of feel like water, but also feel like slime at the same time. I think that if that's what it was meant to be, they definitely achieved that, but it was also a little bit sticky too. It was honestly super satisfying to play with though, and honestly so mesmerizing to watch. Now, I was a little bit skeptical about what I'd actually be able to turn this into, because it was so watery, I was a little bit concerned that it might not be the easiest to give a make over. But one thing about me, I'm always gonna try. Now the first thing I added was glue and I just started mixing it together. In one of my other videos I added glue to an already sticky slime and so many people were confused and annoyed at me for adding more glue to something that's already sticky. But often when you add glue to slime it gives it some more structure and this slime definitely needed some more. What I found weird about this slime is that when I added the glue it seemed like it didn't really need any activator until I started playing with it and just added like a tiny splash. So all I really had to do was add glue and a tiny splash of activator and this felt like a normal clear slime. Now I say normal and it didn't really feel completely normal so I thought maybe I need to change the texture. If I wanted to give it a makeover I decided that I needed to change the texture completely so that's why I decided to add some plastic snow to make a crunchy snow fizz slime. This was honestly super fun to mix in and I was surprised that none of the snow fell out. Sometimes with different glues the snow doesn't like to stick to it so I was really glad that this was mixing well. I actually went went in with a little bit more snow because I didn't think it was crunchy enough and then I decided to dye it neon pink because why not? It did take a little while to mix in, but I was honestly really happy with how it turned out. It was super crunchy, soft, and stretchy, and kind of everything you'd want in a snow fizz slime. I decided to put it into a container and just put the excess in the original container, and added the cutest little berry sprinkles to kind of keep with the theme. I topped it off with a little sprinkle of glitter and this cat charm which I think went with it so well. I feel like I say this with all of the transformation slimes I do, but I really can't believe how that wet jiggly slime turned into this soft and crunchy crunchy snow fizz. It just shows that if you don't like a slime, you can always turn it into something else. And a lot of the time, something better. Okay, so the next slime is the other half of this package. This is the white one, and it didn't have any label, but I'm pretty sure that the listing said it was a milk slime. This again had the same jiggly texture, but it just didn't seem to have any sort of stickiness to it, which I honestly preferred. The only thing about this slime is that I think it might have been scented, and to me it just smelt like kind of milk that had kind of gone out of date. It was weird, it wasn't terrible though. Now, as this was the same texture as the last one, I just did the same thing and added glue to it. I mixed this around and honestly it seemed like it was acting the same, apart from I didn't need any activator. I decided to add a little splash of colour and I thought this neon green looked so nice. It came together so quickly and actually felt like a pretty decent slime. It was kind of crazy to me that the only thing that's been put in this has just been glue. Now, although it made a pretty good slime, I didn't want to stop there. I decided that I wanted to turn this into a cloud slime, so I chucked some instant snow into a bowl, added some water, and mixed the slime into it. Now, it did seem to take a little longer than usual to mix in, and I don't know if it's to do with the type of slime or glue it had, but after a while of mixing, I was so impressed with how this turned out. It somehow felt softer and lighter than a regular cloud slime, and it drizzled so perfectly. Now this actually made a ton of slime, so I decided to split it up and put one into a container to decorate. I added some iridescent glitter and then I tried to add some sprinkles but these would not stick to the slime, so I just shook those off and added this avocado charm. I honestly think the slime looks pretty simple, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. And again, I'm really impressed with how this turned out. I mean, it still kind of smells like sour milk, but at least it's a lot more satisfying to play with. Okay, so these next two slimes did actually come in a package together. I just completely forgot I had ordered them because they took like two months to come and I opened them. I think the total of these together, including shipping, was around three to four dollars. So honestly, they were pretty cheap. Now, as you can see, I opened the green one first and 
It's pretty bad. I mean, I think the color was cute and it actually had the same avocado charm as it did before, but the slime was just so rock solid that it honestly wouldn't stretch. The first thing I knew I needed to do was soften the slime. And I tried to do that by adding some warm water into a bowl and just trying to knead it in. Now, it kind of worked, but the slime still wasn't stretchy at all. But it definitely felt softer and more like I could actually maybe mix something into it. So I thought I probably should switch it up completely and add a block of clay. This is Thaizo Soft Clay and it gives things the butter slime texture. I mixed this in and I was honestly so excited to see what the texture would be like. And I was expecting a soft and creamy slime. But that's kind of not really what I got. The more I mixed this in, the more I realized this was not going to plan. And actually, instead of going smooth and soft, it actually just became very, very stiff. Now, I didn't really have many options on what I could do to fix this. So I just went with the most basic option and just added some glue. Now I needed this in and I thought it was kind of working. It seemed to be melting down the slime a little bit but it just seemed to go stringy and tough so I decided to add even more glue. I repeated the exact same process and just kneaded it into the slime and I think this is when it finally started to work. The stringiness kind of went away and just became lumpy instead but at least it was stretchy and kind of fluffy and it honestly didn't feel too bad. Now, I knew I needed to add something else to this just to get rid of the lumps, so I decided to add another block of clay and just a little bit of colour considering all of the green had gone, I could dye anything I wanted to. For some reason, I was feeling purple and I honestly think this turned out pretty well. It felt really fluffy and smooth and it was still a little bit lumpy, but I think some of the lumps were the avocado slices from the original slime. Like usual, I popped it into a fresh container and I decided to dust the top with some more purple glitter and add this sheep charm. I don't know why I chose the sheep, but I think it went together so well. By the end, this slime felt like a marshmallow. In comparison to the tough, clear, rubbery slime that it was before, I'm pretty pleased with the result. But do you think I made the right choice in charm? <laughs> Okay, so this is the next slime. It's the same type of slime as the other one, apart from this one did feel slightly stretchier and it came with a cupcake charm and some raspberries in there too. When I say it was slightly stretchier, I'm meaning like very slightly, cause this just tore apart. Now, I wanted to take a different approach with this one instead of mixing it with warm water, I decided to just go straight in with some glue and try and mix it together. Now I say I mixed it and I kind of had to mash it to even combine it and I ended up just getting some glue on and mixing it with my hands. It did take a while but eventually it formed a slime and it actually felt pretty normal. It did feel slightly rubbery but I think it was okay. I decided that it was already pink so I couldn't really change the color too much. I just wanted to make it a little bit brighter. So I added some more neon pink dye just to brighten up a little bit. Now I wanted this to clear up so I ended up putting it into a container and letting it sit for three days and this was the result. It was actually pretty clear, it was a little bit foggy but overall it was really pretty. The texture felt normal and it was almost kind of non-stick. It was a little bit weird. Now I totally could have left it like that, but I always want to spice things up a little bit more. So I decided to use some bright red fishbowl beads and just pour them into a bowl so I could mix it with it. Sometimes, like the plastic snow we used earlier, it doesn't stick to certain types of glue. And I was a little bit skeptical that these weren't sticking, but they did. I feel like fishbowl beads are so underrated because they make the slime feel crunchy, but they also kind of make it feel smooth at the same time time. And just to finish this one off, I popped it into a container and found a strawberry charm and a little cow and added some white sprinkles. I was so impressed with this. I thought this turned out so cute and I actually really like the kind of berry cow theme. And from that small rippy slime into this, I don't think I did too badly. Well, this was a whole lot of fun. Transforming these slimes always blows my mind. It's crazy that something can look so different just with a few more ingredients and a little bit of hard work. I also want to say that this isn't me bashing the shops and saying that their slimes are bad, but these seem to be the equivalent of store-bought slime. I had so much fun making this video and I would love to know which one was your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.